Well, folks, we are preparing uh, for the life to come. Eternity is a long time, and as believers, we want to be prepared for the judgment seat of Christ. And we want to witness to non-believers because they're going to be at the great white throne judgment. So we want to make sure that not only are we prepared for eternity, but we're preparing others for eternity too. So the question you want, you want to ask your group or yourself is, what are we doing and how are we doing in terms of the eternal perspective? Or are we only living for the moment in time we exist in right now? Well, you know, we all have to make that decision. And regardless of what happened yesterday, because you can't change that, what does your today and your tomorrow look like? The Bible tells us to encourage one another as we see this time approaching, to challenge one another, to, to pull one another out of the muck and mire and to stimulate one another to move forward uh, in, the, in the walk with the Lord and in our commitment to Christ. So I pray that you and your team will, uh, will, will coalesce around this truth of prophecy, that you'll read the newspaper differently. Now when you see all this is happening, you'll try to send it through the, the grid of uh, what the Word of God says, and that you will now live today in light of the great tomorrow that we all face. Um, this has been exciting for me to refresh and, and review. I hope it's been challenging for you to know and understand a little bit more. Remember, if you want more, you can get the Best is Yet to Come book uh, to just go into more detail than I've been even been able to go to because there's so much to this prophetic calendar. But it shows how accurate God is that he can predict all of these things uh, so far in advance. So God bless you. Thank you for allowing me to be with you during these weeks of your small group meeting or even your own personal review of uh, these principles and know that uh, we're going we're gonna to fight together to do our part for the kingdom of God. God bless you.